guys welcome back to a new video how are you all doing let us know in the comments it'd be lovely to hear from you all today we are trying the new starbucks christmas range Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. um so we've got a toffee nut latte we've got the eggnog latte and we've got the caramel waffle caramel it? waffle latte i think they're all back from last year the same ones yeah they've as had last them before. year but yeah so they've just come out today, so it was perfect timing. We had to get there. We was going to get a coffee anyway, so we thought, why not? Let's just get an extra one and we can try them all for you. Yay. And then we are heading to Costco to have a look at the Christmas stuff, which is really exciting. We know that not everybody can necessarily go to Costco, but a lot of you probably will know somebody that has a Costco card. So Sid always nicks mine, so does our other sister. So hopefully you guys know somebody that has a membership and you can just borrow their card to go and have a little look. Yeah. So we'll take you along and... I definitely want to get something to eat in there. So if yeah. you know about Costco food, oh, it's so good and so cheap. Yeah, we'll get some um, lunch. A really, really fancy jacket potato, so I do want to get one of them. Mm. So before we try our drinks, we just want to say a huge thank you to one of our subscribers, Helen, who has given us our first super thanks, um, which is just so exciting. And we didn't even know this was a thing. We had no idea. Until we started doing YouTube. And I've not even seen it when I've been watching people on YouTube. Um, no. So when you get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, you then have an icon appear that says super thanks. Um, so we'll show you on the screen because we'd never noticed it before. And it basically just means that when you comment, you can send a few pennies, like Helen has said, put it towards your next coffee um, or anything else. Just all goes back into the channel so that we can make even better videos, get better equipment and stuff like that. And content. So, yeah. So we just want to say such a big thank you, Helen, because we were just... It so, made our day, yeah, didn't it? it really did make our day. So thank you, thank you so much. And thank you to you all as well for just commenting, for being here. We honestly feel like you're all our friends, don't we? Yeah, I know. It's so nice to read all your comments. So thank you. Thank you, guys. So, right, cheers, Helen. <laughs> thank you, Helen. Um, so, Toffee Nut. I mean, we know Ooh. what they taste like, don't we? But let's just do a little... We're not going to waffle on. We're just going to... Oh, waffle. waffle. Oh, we've waffle. we've got a waffle, waffle one. one. Where is the... Oh, it's in the door. Um, <laughs> so we have been waffling a little bit. The cream's <laughs> melted. <laughs> and we had to try and find somewhere to park. But... You're waffling. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it good? It's just as good as I remember. Is it? Yeah. Why have you taken the, the lid off? off. I, I was the checking lid. if the cream had melted. I'll try it with the lid. It's the best. Oh, that is so good. That is actually my all-time favourite. I can't remember what the eggnog tastes mm. like. Because I only I remember had it liking once. the eggnog. Toffee nut, ten out of ten. Let's just leave it there. We love toffee nut. Is it nice? I remember the eggnog one being quite creamy. sure oh it doesn't taste how i remember i like it but i don't know if i'd order it over oh, see i like i, I like, like it, it but it's hard because that they're both quite strong flavors yeah maybe we should have tried that one first mm. try it again it's really good i'm no, not sure i'm not a massive fan i like it but i definitely prefer okay. the up. so next is well lastly is the caramel waffle can you have this one or not i don't know if i can i'll need to check but i won't for now you can i'll try, try this one, one because we're not sure if it's got gluten in and sid can't have it so I just think nothing compares to the toffee nut latte if you haven't had a toffee nut latte it's all right you need to get one it's all right but compared to these two, it's not as nice. So toffee nut first, eggnog second, caramel waffle third. So definitely get the toffee nut or the eggnog before you try the caramel waffle. Even McDonald's do a caramel waffle one now, mm. don't they? Is that nice? Actually, I think this is probably very, very similar. Or if not, the McDonald's one is better. I wouldn't say mm -hmm. it's like anything special. So there you go. There's our little Starbucks review. So on to Costco. Costco. So we'll see you in there guys in a little bit. See you soon.
$29.98 with that. That's really nice and vintage, traditional, isn't it? Uh, look at that. $180 with that. Look at the detail on it. Oh my god. When I have a bigger place. Oh my god, I love it. 59.98 with that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what have you got? Blueberries. Blueberries? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Hi guys, so we are back in the car and I am just munching on my jacket potato that I've been looks craving so all good. day. It's they're massive. It looks a bit disgusting. It in is there, really it? It just nice. Looks like but it's basically I've got tuna and mayo and cheese and oh, so good. It was like three pound for that massive thing. Oh, don't! I could just eat that, but I'm waiting because Bobby hasn't eaten yet, so we're going to eat together <laughs> later. But um, I'll have a bit of yours. And then you got a mango smoothie they're like two pound these so, are amazing it is good the food in costco is just so so good you can't go to costco without getting food on the way out can you no so the only thing apart from jacket potato and the smoothie we bought was this really really nice tin of chocolate fudge they had um red and navy as well but um, Bobby and I buy for somebody at Christmas that just loves a tin. They just love a nice tin. So yeah, I thought it's a really nice, nice one. Christmas present. And that was £7.49. And I think that's not bad. Oh, and I, I know the person that I'm buying this for will keep the tin. So oh. it's worth getting. And then um, apart from that, I just got some lamb chops. And I got a bottle of Jack Daniels because every month I'm buying a bottle of alcohol for my wedding because 
we can take our own alcohol to the venue so it's going to be a good time isn't it yeah. <laughs> so every month i go to costco and i buy a bottle and mum buys a bottle as well just to stock up so yeah that's all we got nice so, day out yeah the only thing we find with costco we absolutely love having the membership and the christmas stuff in there is just on another level it's high end isn't it mm. it's like a lot more expensive than you'd get in any of the other shops that we've done but it is a bit chaotic in there it is you've got to be in the mood to go in you there have. it's just <sighs> i dropped my blooming membership card as well so to pay at the till i had to go and speak to somebody they had to find me on the system and then we had to queue again at the customer service bit to get the membership card reprinted because i'm just guessing where we were filming i had it in my hand and dropped it so that was fun um but yeah good video good video good video oh um <laughs> that we'll leave that down to them oh. Oh, i can't speak folks <laughs> i absolutely loved the gold lamp post and the three reindeers they were nice but i loved all the musical scene yeah, things the carousel nice. one yeah, oh was my god that was just stunning that was amazing and the christmas tree that we saw kind of when we first went in was a like a pre real touch one. one yeah it and was pre-lit pre -lit and it looked and felt amazing the quality yeah. it was about 399 pounds so a bit on the pricey side but i think that's a good investment it's a good investment yeah definitely. For, for how nice that was it's not very often you see a christmas tree and you go oh my god that you don't quality. have to faff with lights because it's pre-lit i do like that idea that was stunning one. i don't know if it would fit in my flat it was a bit on the big side but oh, I love that yeah tree. that was a good tree yeah so hope you enjoyed it guys it is worth having a look in costco we did have some nice bits and also gift ideas they've mm. we didn't show obviously everything because we'd been in there for about a week but <laughs> about a week <laughs> but we hope you like the video and we will see you very soon in the next one thanks Bye. for watching <laughs>